Hi, in this video I'm just going to talk about um, measuring osmolarity using biosensors. So osmolarity is useful in um, diagnosing eye conditions, specifically for example dry eye. And so if you're able to um, bring a sensor to the eye or you're able to bring some of the tear film to the sensor and you measure um, something like 300 then you could be considered as kind of normal um, less than 300 is kind of considered um, yeah also normal but then there is you know if you're at 340 or greater then you could be in have a severe eye condition so um, osmolarity is one of the um, understood parameters by um, ophthalmologists um, for measuring conditions of the eye and at Zimmer and Peacock because we're independent um, developers of biosensors and medical diagnostics we're of course yeah very willing to help our clients and collaborators so on this page we're trying to bring together some useful information so the useful information is if somebody wants to make a sensor or diagnostic for measuring the eye um, first of all you know what's the kind of um, parameters or values that we should be thinking about and that's sort of 300 to 340 on the page then we um, link to our um, connectivity sensors and so we've kind of linked and we've got some data up about these um, types of sensors and we've got the links to the ones that we um, that we're recommending um, we also have a useful calculator so when you're working in the R&D um, setting then um, you'll be really recording a sort of values but you need to understand what those values are in terms of um, osmolarity so for example here I've recorded an admittance in millisiemens of 0 0.015 and that translates to about 290 um, in terms of osmolarity if I change that to 0 0.02 then I've I've now gone into 396 which is basically sort of severe, a severe problem so this calculator is kind of useful for if you make a measurement um, an electrical measurement it will then convert it into um, osmolarity for you um, so I'll go back so we're trying to link to things on our website that we think are useful so these are the sensors that were useful um, when you're in the R&D setting you're basically trying to measure conductivity and for that we're recommending um, an instrument from us called the um, Anapot EIS it's an impedance spectrometer so um, it's a good way of measuring conductivity between two electrodes and that's useful for measuring um, osmolarity so we do have a piece of hardware for R&D purposes if you're really wanting to go on and do the product first of all you do need to do the R&D so to, in order to do the R&D you probably just need electrodes from here understand the calculator from here and um, you have to do the experiment so you need to get this R&D electronics if you want to then go on to make the product then we have something called the GFET which was probably quite nice size because it's about the size of a thumb and it um, can do things like impedance measurements so in summary um, our business model at Zimmer Peacock is to be contract developers and contract manufacturers this um, does mean that we get inquiries about measuring things like conductivity and when you dig in a little deeper then people sometimes want to measure osmolarity of the eye if the osmolarity is very high then the person has sort of eye irritations or dry eye and if it's normal then obviously they have a healthy eye and we think that these links will be useful for people who are trying to explore the R&D feasibility of making this kinds of sensors so as per normal, if you've got any questions, just contact us at ZP and we'd be happy to help. Okay, thanks very much.